Hello, Flatappers. It's a little for here. And today, I am coming back to explain how I got 50,000 donuts on this account. And yeah, so I thought this video was would be really, really important to make, as I constantly have got questions for months and months and, and years, really, uh, ever since I had sort of over 50,000 donuts on my account. And obviously, you can see that I do, don't have that amount of donuts now, but it's still a significant amount, and it's certainly... It's a, such a large amount that no tap tap player can, you know, earn 50,000 donuts in a day, say. I mean, that is just impossible. And therefore, loads of people sort of find my advice a little bit sceptical. And I really just want to be completely transparent about this, as it is really important. And uh, I think a lot of people can lose faith in the game, as they don't ever think that they can earn a sustainable amount of donuts legitimately. And obviously, um, playing the game legitimately is way more fun than, say, hacking uh, to get everything. So yeah, people quit the game. They don't think they can get all this stuff legitimately. So that really is why I want to address this. So yeah, basically, I'm going to explain how I got the 50,000 donuts. Over 50,000 donuts in this account. And so, basically, um, someone very, very kindly offered me help with the design of my town. And so... Um, yeah, I was giving, so I gave them my sort of town to log into, and they were, yeah, a, a kind, genuine person, they weren't like a hacker or anything, and, you know, they weren't going to screw up my town for all the attention, but what they did do was they did add some things without my permission to the town, which is obviously, once things are added to your town, it is irreversible. So they added items, and sort of, and donuts um, that they said they needed, um, without my direct permission and obviously once you get the donuts added to your account you can't take them away exactly um, except from spending them which is just that wasn't an option um, because yeah I think it's impossible to spend that amount of donuts at the same time so it was an irreversible action um, really and so it was added by um, somebody who had a mod at the time um, it's, it's not something that, the moment I had it, uh, that happened to my town, I was I was quite upset, to be perfectly honest. Um, because at, at the time, I was farming enough donuts legitimately so that I could make my videos and, you know, sort of get by by owning my donuts, you know, by quickie mark farming. I think at the time, obviously, we've got way more effective methods of farming donuts right now. Um, so yeah, that is basically how I got those donuts on my account. But what I want to show you, which is probably the most important part of this video, is, yeah, I want to direct you to all my advice. And I, wa I want to tell you that this advice is genuine. And I want to show you um, a direct example of how my all of my advice is condensed into one town, all this, you know, the outcome. Um is sort of condensed into my newer town where it's just fully legitimate and it's a realistic outcome of all my advice being taken and however that legitimate sort of town of earning the donuts legitimately without any hacks without spending a significant amount of money uh, yeah where that gets you to and um it basically gets you to a good place so yeah we're gonna solve this problem and just yeah, stick around because yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take you through my videos which is where I've got hours and hours of advice, which is, and then I'll, at the end, I'm going to show you the outcome of the advice. So yeah, stick around, and we're going to sort this so out So here we go. So we're obviously on the channel page, and I'm going to directly show you where you can find the um, the tips and tricks videos playlist. And um, yeah, so this is my tips and tricks videos playlist. There's 21 videos, and I did actually remove a lot of these videos as I thought that they weren't, really sort of helpful and um so yeah this is the 21 videos so i'm just going to go through what each of the videos are helpful for yeah how they're helpful to you so firstly we have the mystery boxes and so obviously the mystery boxes um i mean so that is the 10 donut trick so that is very much for beginners so who are sort of playing the game so this so that's not so relevant again hidden money making glitch for new players 
and that money making glitch is not for a significant amount of money but it's going to really significantly help uh, new players so then um we've got the top nine or sorry i should say the top nine characters in the ebook mystery box guide except moog and so he was the actual best cash earner in the yearbook um because once again like the sideshow bob you can make him moog uh moog outfit do a six second task for 35 cash every six seconds and obviously with the money and xp bonus that is a lot so there we go and then yeah so then we have the simpsons tapped out the prizes you should avoid in the yearbook mystery box and so that is obviously one of the guides that i've done i would recommend watching it and the, the yeah but i suppose with this one the prizes you should avoid all the prizes you should avoid are the npcs i think that catches a lot of people out because people think that npcs are characters and therefore they can spend 30 donuts and be really disappointed on um just an npc that when you tap on it just does something and it doesn't earn any money doesn't help you progress in the game so yeah what i want you to do is actually go to the simpsons the uh, simpsons tapped that out fandom page for the yearbook mystery box and i want you to check before um you open each mystery box to check that you've got a decent lineup of characters and that is um a very important point that you have say uh, a minimum of three characters in every lineup and a maximum of five characters because uh, but yeah obviously five characters are what you want to be aiming for and um, that is obviously going to really help you progress and earn cash so that is really important and so yeah before you uh, get the lineup to check if you're not sure whether a prize is a sort of an npc or a character or an outfit outfits are not as good as characters remember then yeah check the um since it's tapped out fandom uh page on the ebook mystery box to check and then you should be able to find it and there that is a definitive way of um of yeah avoiding that problem and that is going to save you a lot of donuts and it's going to generate generate help you to generate a lot more money that's going to help turn that into more cash and then we have um the then we have the golden goose royalty and honestly um that video needs to be updated i think when i get the golden goose royalty on sort of when it comes round out again on, I'll get it on my alts or legitimate account. We're calling it in this video. Um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you what the Golden Goose Royalty can do. Um, I, I will be showing you that in this video as well, but I, I need to make a separate video for that as that is um, not so valid uh, now. So I wouldn't watch that actually. So then we have this is just type to complete any event. That's obviously good for completing any event. Um, and then we've got what you should do if you can't complete an event. So sort of both helpful there. Sprinkle for Downs full guide, sort of for beginners. Then the most important part, we've got all of the donut farming videos which you can talk about. So I have uploaded your donut farming six, seven, so seven donut farming videos. And in the donut farming videos, it goes, it will tell you. Um, so once you're earning say like millions and millions of cash a, a day um then you can get to the stage where you're starting to donut farm um and obviously i do go through in the videos when it's best to donut farm so when well yeah so when it's best i mean um are you ready as a player are you earning enough cash to so that when you invest in donut farm you're gonna earn a decent amount of donuts from the farm or whether it's just going to be a waste of um donuts because you're not going to get a very good return for the money that you're putting in and obviously below 100 i talk about that briefly i, I won't go into it too much detail as i do go over all the advice in my donut farming videos um but yeah the rules that it's different for donut farming once you get over level 100 and then it changes uh, drastically from before so if you're say below level 100 or above level 100 all these donut farming videos will be helpful for you to watch and yeah um really the best things to donut farm is not going to be cookie marts it's going to be rut track delivery trucks they're just the best so then we have the mystery boxes nowhere near as effective 
as the Yibbert Mystery Boxes for helping your town develop because, um, I mean, I'll discuss it in my How to Get Rich and Donuts video, um, the updated one. And by the way, don't watch the older one. I mean, it's good, but it's just not. I mean, the updated one was uploaded for a reason. So yeah, um, it, it mentions in that the, the importance of the Yibbert Mystery Box sort of for um, the don't the money and XP percentage boost um, items that you're going to be getting, which is really key for how for getting rich in cash. And obviously, all of these videos are sort of interlinked, but each video does have sort of a different bit of advice in it. So it is really worth it's really worth sort of watching these individual videos. Because, yeah, they all have a different purpose, obviously. And so, yeah, the Money and XP bonus, say the Dragon Bundle has like over 10%, I believe, um, Money and XP, just for one lot of 30 donuts. And then, uh, obviously, the Beach Hideaways have a really high Money and XP percentage boost of over a 40% per Beach Hideaway for 40 donuts. Um, yeah, it might not be, it's not 40% exactly. But I do go over all these key statistics that you're going to need to help you, um, yeah, basically earn a sustainable amount of donuts for your town. If you watch these videos, it's all going to help. Then, yep. And then God, here's a big one. So God is probably, God is a major way without, he will save you an impeccable amount of time. If you manage to get God when he returns, say in this Black Friday update, or when he returns in the store for donuts, he's going to save you tons and tons of time. Because, I mean, I know that I get God from God on my old account, my legitimate account, four million cash every day, and so yeah, and seven seven seven, seven hundred and seventy seven thousand cash he generates every twenty four hours. But obviously, my money and XP bonus multiplier has a significant impact on that and therefore yeah that is i mean if you can get god that is um gonna help you significantly in um yeah getting rich in donuts it really is and i think without a god it is a lot more difficult i've got to be honest um it can be done you can sort of start to earn a sustainable amount of donuts without god but it is a lot more difficult. You need a lot more characters and a much higher money and XP percentage bonus to get around not having God. So I would highly recommend getting God. And yeah, it certainly takes a lot of the effort away from being able to su successfully um, sort of donut farm and go up those levels. And then, yeah, we've got the 20 yeah, but mystery boxes. And so, yeah, that is only useful if you're sort of wondering what prizes are good in the Ebert Mystery Box. But I do explain that um, some of those prizes in the How to Get Rich in Donuts Mystery Boxes and obviously my other Ebert Mystery Box videos. But what where you want to be looking at really is the um, Simpsons Hacked Out fandom page on the Ebert Mystery Box. And I will put that link in the description box below, along with this tips and tricks playlist. Um, I think it's a, it's a really decent playlist. and um, so yeah, I'm going to put it in the link in the description below, but you can obviously find it on the channel and you just go to playlists. This setup may be different, but it will still be in the playlist. You might have to scroll down a fair bit and then here it is. And yeah, obviously, yeah, this is this is going to help you solve this problem of how to earn genesis legitimately. And so now I'm going to go to the final outcome of, yeah, where it's going to get you. If you implement all this advice from all these videos, um, yeah, what your town's so, going to look like. Yeah, here's the outcome. So, yeah, this is my LOR for Ville Town, as um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with this town. And, yeah, so this was started in winter 2020 as a town. So, yes, you may be thinking, that was ages ago. You know, we are almost two years on, yeah, from that. So, I mean, well, the winter 2020, we were still in 2020 then, so it was sort of 2021. And then, yeah, but we were at the end of 2020, so it was actually 
It's hundred twenty one. So just less than two years. Um actually. Two years on. This is where I've got my town to. And um yeah, my money and it's P percentage bonus. And the amount of donuts you can obviously see, and then we've got God. And so I unlocked God seven months ago on this town. And obviously, you know, I can get these things. You know, I was able to open the mystery box and get, you know, some of the new decorations and things. And I could even get some of the premiums if I wanted to. If I could, if I sort of farmed loads more donuts, I could comfortably get all the new event premiums and not miss out on any of the new content. And that's where you want to get to. I mean, that that's... You know, you don't have to you know, earn 50,000 donuts in one day uh, to actually, you know, be able to unlock all the other stuff from the updates. And yeah, I even got the facade from this update and stuff like that. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you don't need like 50,000 donuts. Um, you just want to play the game legitimately, you want to get all the stuff in the new updates, and then you're happy, really. And all that hard work does mean something. And I know that um, it's really satisfying. Once you get to this point on... Yeah, I know that when I got to this point on my old account, it was really satisfying with the rat trap delivery traps and the donut farming. And obviously, yeah, all this advice that got to this town at this point with the donuts and everything is all in my tips and tricks uh, playlist. And if you have looked at that and you utilise the Ibit Mystery Box uh, really effectively... I wouldn't use the mystery boxes unless you're at a low level starting the game um, until you've got all the characters from there. And I obviously do give advice about that. There's also another mystery box video, which will be going into the playlist after this video, where I did a mass opening of mystery boxes. Um, so that's also going to be going in the playlist. And there may be a couple more videos going in there as well. But it's going to be constantly updated, and it's going to help you to get to the point where you're in Dillance legitimately. So there we go. So that was obviously really, really important. And uh, hopefully it's answered a load of your questions. And I know um, this must have caused, you know, a lot of, you know, it's caused a lot of problems. And I do appreciate that. And I do apologise that many people have sort of gone, oh, the only way to get get good at this game is by hacking. But really, you don't have to. If you put the time in, and with God, say if I got God earlier in this town, it doesn't take two years, I'd say. If I only got God seven months ago, I think if I got God, say, earlier, um, I think. And obviously, this is my town. Remember, um, the productivity of this town as well. I use this for videos. I speed up quest lines. I waste donuts and so much. If I used all the donuts that I wasted... Um, I mean, yeah, imagine as a YouTuber, I use way more donuts than the average tapped out player. So realistically, it's not going to take two years to get to this point. I mean, if you think about it, all the donuts, that I, if I spent that on yearbook mystery box characters, getting, say, uh, decorations with a high money and XP percentage bonus, this could be way higher. And it may even take, like, say, just over a year to get to the point where you can comfortably get everything from every new update. And um, get if you get enough donuts so that you can get everything that you want from the event, really. So there we go. So yeah, I really hope that that sort of helped all of you. And yeah, um, if you've got any questions, do leave it in the comment section below. If there's any sort of big advice that you want me to go over, then do do be sure to leave a comment. I'm gonna update that um, tips and tricks playlist. And yeah, I wish you all the best of luck. On, um, on, yeah, on your towns developing in the future and hopefully earning a steady stream of donuts. And don't hack whatever you do. It's worth putting the time in. And honestly, um, if I could have gone back on what happened to my town, I really, really would. I'm um, quite annoyed as I spent loads of time on that original town too. And it's just all that hard work gone. And honestly, as with many things in life, you know, the hard way is the most satisfying way. So there we go. So yeah, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Keep an eye on that Tips and Trips playlist. Good luck with your towns. And good.